Panchali Panchabhadruka. This was a roaring dialogue of our former Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, N.T. Ramarao. He is the one who has enacted in ten various forms in one movie called Draupadi. Draupadi was an epicenter of the entire Mahabharata where Dharma was re-established. Today, our great country Bharat is going through a lot of turmoil on the surface of it. To recap some scenes around us, every Friday for the last three or four Fridays, we have radicalized Muslims attacking with stones, uh, fire and you know, vandalizing in various parts of the country, especially in the opposition ruled or the Congress supported uh, assembly constituencies. Then we had a debate where the others were demeaning Lord Shiva, demeaning the Hindu gods. But then when Nupur Sharma wanted to give them back, they are all behind our blood. And we the Hindus don't even talk about it. Added to it, the great mother and the son are going through a CBI, a ED raids, ED questioning on the National Herald case. Followed by a deep unrest in Maharashtra. These are some scenes that we are going through today. But like every time, the nature provides us with a, a silver lining. The silver lining this time, this time comes in the form of the presidential elections for this country. Ramnath Kovind, eminent scholar, is about to retire the next month and we had to pick up. And the choice was Draupadi Murmu. Draupadi is a very resounding name. A very vibrant name. This Draupadi's pickup, picking up of Draupadi is in many ways, I feel, is better for this country called India at this phase of its uh, democracy. democracy. Draupadi is born in a very poor family. She was born in Baida Posi village near Mayurban, Orissa in 1958, in this month on the 20th date, 20th June 1958. She is a graduate. She has served the uh, irrigation department as a junior assistant and also worked in uh, Sri Aurobindo Integrated University as assistant professor. Before joining politics in 1997, she became a, uh, a corporator. Then she went ahead, became a MLA. Then uh, she was also a Commerce Minister in Orissa. Then from uh, 19, uh, 2016 until 2021, she served as the governor at Jharkhand. And she is supposed to be a very strict and an eminent lady, practicing Hindu Dharma. She has some tragedies of her own life. Two sons have expired. Her husband left for heavenly abode. Despite all that, she steadfast with Hindu philosophy, the Tanatana Dharma practices, despite coming from a Santhal tribe, which is called as uh, the, the most backward scheduled tribes. Why am I saying that uh, her coming into political scenario, her, her being chosen as uh, the president for this country will help uh, to revive our dharma? In Orissa, there is no village where she hasn't walked through. And Orissa is a place where there are a lot of conversions into Christianity happen. She has uh, uh, stopped all that and maybe we believe that she will do that. And Orissa being the, uh, the Naxal infested area, she would bring in some relief from these areas from those Naxals. And I am sure as the politics have shifted from the, uh, the forward caste into the OBC class, today you see the entire gamut of politicking is happening around the other backward classes which is being led from the front by our Pradhan Sevak Narendra Modi. 
So in the days to come, we will feel the, the people who are marginalized, the people who are left behind, way behind in their walks of life will take an inspiration and uh, try to uh, emulate this great lady uh, called Draupadi. Draupadi at this point of time can put a stop to this Panchamakka as defined by our Dikshit. The guys who still believe Maculay's education system, the missionaries, the mullahs and maulvis, the paid medias and the, the Marxists. All these five will be controlled hereafter. So, I believe this choice of Draupadi by the central leadership is one master stroke in itself, putting all the critics into a deep silence. And we are all looking forward to this great lady who swept the floors of the temple which she used to visit from her childhood as soon as she heard about her being nominated for the post of uh, the presidentship. And she also goes in, whispers in the Lord Nandi's ear. This is our practice, Sanatan Dharmis. Whatever we have, good or bad, we talk to that Nandi so that it transmitted to the Lord Shiva himself. So this we have seen and that video has gone viral all over. So dear friends, let's relish this choice. Let's look forward for, for a different politics to come up in the days and the years to come up so that our country, the great Bharat. I may not say we may, we may want to go back to the Hindu Rashtra, but we may uh, disinfest these uh, five enemies of this country who wants to break it. I repeat, the five enemies of this country, the Maculay education system implementers, the Marxists, the missionaries, the mullahs and maulvis, and the paid media. These are uh, dividing this country than putting it together. I appreciate that with this selection of Draupadi, I hope she wins hands down and comes and occupies the highest post of this country and will be the chief commander of all the armies, the Air Force and the Navy. So if you are watching this video for the first time, please subscribe to Satya Bhashyam, press the bell icon and like the video and share it if you feel it is worth it. Thank you very much. Rambabu Cheruvu, Hyderabad.